Hello Crystal Souls, hope you're doing amazing. Today I'm coming with an Upika card reading and the topic is what changes are coming for you. To pick your card, I highly suggest you to press pause, meditate on the cards and use your intuition to pick the one and you can of course use a pendulum for this step. And when you are ready, you can find a timestamp in comments down below. By the way, if you want to book a personal reading with me, I'll be so happy to help you. All you need to do is to check the link in the description down below to get more information. Same thing for my spiritual shop. All right, I think it's time to start your reading, so let's do it. So here's the first group with the quads, the second group with the amethyst, and the third group with the voice quad. Let's start with the first one. So for the overall energy, you will have two cards. The first one is the Eurofant, and the second one is the Sun. This one is a group identification, traditions and fitting in, seeking religious and spiritual guidance. I think this is all about spiritual awakening. So I believe what is about to come or what you are wanting to welcome in your life, the change that you are wanting to manifest, is all about awakening spiritually. You know, discovering your true self, discovering um, where you are coming from, your past lives even. I think you really want to discover more about your spirituality, your spirit and your soul. And this is why you may actually want to kind of manifest a lot of magic around you and within you to kind of connect with your spirit guides even. And to manifest a lot of beauty and magic from the universe and your guides. Because I believe you want to, you know, live your life to the fullest potential as a spiritual person. Because you may be aware of a lot of things. You may be aware about the law of attraction, how you can attract and manifest anything you desire in life. Because I'm seeing that you are powerful and you have a lot of magic. And I believe this will lead you somewhere where you will need to discover more about yourself, more about your past lives more about your spiritual calling because this is something that is very important to you or that will be important for you in the future. And I think he was experiencing something that kind of inspired you to go for this spiritual adventure because it felt like you needed to discover about who you are um, and about all your spirituality and your spirit really because this is all about rediscovering your true your true self, your true essence. And I think this is what you are going to manifest or the change you are going to improve or um, to seek for more in the next few months. So this is pretty exciting because I can see that you're really wanting to discover like your true self, who you truly are, where you're coming from. And I think, you know, when you, when you discover a lot more about your past lives, you recognize that you're just doing the same patterns. You're attracted about um, things that you was having in your past lives. And, you know, it could be vintage objects or futuristic objects, anything like this, because this kind of comforts your soul. And it's kind of a calling as well. So it's always interesting to look back and see who we were and what type of experiences uh, we had, because this makes us understand uh, yeah, where we are coming from and why we are doing things in this lifetime, it seems, you know, kind of crazy sometimes or we don't understand why we are attracted about one thing that is very old or something that is futuristic in a way. And yes, you have to understand your past lives can actually come from a future because time doesn't exist, it's an, an illusion. So be aware of this if you want to introspect into your past lives. It can be from a future because... Yeah, you can go back in time, and time is just a linear thing, we believe, and but, but things are just happening all at once, so just be aware of that, you know, you can be a little surprised if you see that you are coming from a futuristic time, or from another planet even. So yeah, if you are interested, and I think you are, you are going to discover a lot more spiritually, and it can be also astral projection and things like this, because... I think this group is just wanting to grow and, and to become your true self and to discover who you truly are inside. The Sun card symbolizes joy, success, energy, warmth and optimism. This is for me um, kind of you living out the darkness. And as I said before, because you are going to seek for spiritual 
um, you know, discoveries and researches and everything you can actually discover from your spiritual self or your soul, this is going to offer you this clarity, this joy and happiness because you will feel like, oh, now I know where I'm coming from. Now I know who I truly am. And this is what is going to push you in this direction of discovering even more because it feels like this is the truth. This is who you truly are. And yeah, it is the truth and this is exactly who you are. And this is why it's always important to look back and to explore spiritually because this is what is going to offer you to really be connected to your true self. Um, so I believe it was in, in I don't know, maybe relationships and it can be with your friends and family that were um, kind of challenging somehow and kind of pushing you um, in a direction where you needed peace and so you find yourself back thanks to this because you was um, understanding that self um, self-worth, self-love and peace and you know discovering who you truly are is actually within you it's not outside of you so everything that people project about you is not the truth and this is why I believe you are seeking for the truth now so maybe you was in a toxic relationship before and this person was really uh, toxic to you and making you feel little and then when you kind of rebuild yourself after this you kind of discover your own power and your true self and maybe you was you know inspired by your spirit guides or you were seeing some symbols or maybe maybe you just discover spirituality on social media and this was a calling to you um for example when i was little i remember collecting um stones wherever i was traveling and i remember my mom being pissed at me because i was you know always bringing stones with me um for example this one is from a travel but yeah like i remember doing this and in a past life i discovered that i was actually selling crystals in a shop and i was like what? <laughs> of course. I mean, it makes sense now why I was always collecting uh, crystals along along the way, you, you know, when I was traveling and when I was walking. Whenever I was seeing a beautiful stone, I was like, I'm gonna take it home with me because, I don't know, I just, I, I just love it and I think this one is pretty. But now it makes sense because I know that in my past life, I was actually selling stones and collecting them myself. So it's like, it's obvious, you know, you are going to do things that you were doing in past lives. And this is pretty interesting to look back and see why we are doing these things in this lifetime. So I really, really um, suggest you to, you know, do past life regressions. I actually have a video about it if you are interested. And I also have a video where I talk about my last past lives. Uh, I still need to update it because I have a lot more to say about this one. But yeah, it's always interesting. And if you are interested, you can find the, the video on my channel. Alright, so I think this sun card is here kind of to tell you, you are going to lead yourself towards clarity and the truth and this is all within you. And it's time for you to explore it because this is going to bring you happiness and joy and you will feel complete in a way to discover who you are. This is for sure. And you can see the fairies all around you. So again, you are supported by your guides and you incarnate this angel. So I believe your angels and the universe are wanting you to be aware that you are a lot more than what you think. And I think a lot of you are already aware of this because you are on the spiritual journey already. But I think a lot of you are ready to awaken because for me the Eurofant represents someone who is awakening or about to, you know, open up spiritually and discover the truth. And this is what is going to happen. Of course, this is going to be a lonely journey, I'm not gonna lie to you. But this is going to be very worth it because you are going to discover who you truly are and why you are meant to be here even and why you are attracted about so many things in your life and you don't understand because you know everything you experienced in past lives this completes you in a way and these lives are just here to train you to be your best version as a spirit and this is what you have to understand so try to take this life as a new experience and really enjoy it to the fullest and i think this is really interesting to look back and see uh, what we did and also what we are capable of doing in this lifetime because this is kind of giving us um the inspiration and also inspiring us in a way that you know we were able to do this in past lives so of course you are going to be able to do this in this lifetime because you know the talents and all the skills you have in this lifetime it's here for a reason this is something you mastered in past lives and this is why it's going to be easy for you to kind of go back to this practice or to this talent and skills and and really use this in this lifetime in order for you to grow as a person and as a spirit as well 
So yeah, I think this is going to bring you a lot of joy and happiness, this is for sure. So this awakening or this path you are going to take to awaken and tap into your spiritual side, well, this is going to offer you a lot of clarity as well with the sun card being here. The Ten of Branches. This one talks about feeling stressed, burned urns, seen with perspective. Take a break and learn to say no when necessary. And this leads to freedom. Of course, in, you need to be um, able to say no, to, to know what you really want to do and to know uh, what you don't want to do as well, because this is going to send a clear message to the people around you, but also to the universe, because if you say no to abuse, manipulation, people making you feel little, people, um, you know, kind of destroying your worth and destroying who you are, you are going to send a message to this person, but also to the universe telling, I am no longer wanting to accept this energy or this type of person in my life. So if you do, I'm going to just reject them for sure. And this is a wonderful thing to do because this is training yourself to kind of, um, you know, understand your respect, understand that self-respect is important, self-love is important, and this is what is going to lead you somewhere where you will love yourself enough and reject what is not going to vibrate on the same energy as you. And this is why the spiritual journey is going to teach you a lot and teach you um, about freedom as well, because when you will free yourself from toxic people and, and people that makes you kind of uh, condensed or um, that make you feel uncomfortable, well... I think this is going to free yourself in a way because you will understand that you need to say no. You need to move on from people that are toxic. You need to set yourself free and, and enjoy life to the fullest because this is what is going to come when you will free yourself, when you will send a clear message to the universe about what you desire to experience, what type of company you want around you. Because this is about to manifest, because if you believe you deserve this type of company, if you believe you deserve better, um, if you trust the universe for sending you the best people your way, this is going to happen. But if you believe, oh my god, I'm so unlucky, I am poor, uh, I have the worst company, my friends are not treating me with respect, they're not seeing me, they're not supporting me, of course you are going to attract even more people like this. Why? Because you believe you deserve it. But I think you have to understand, the universe only sends you the lesson it thinks it's necessary for your growth. So of course, if you are locked into this very negative um, aspect of life and aspect of relationship, you are going to experience more because the universe will understand well, I think she wants more because she believes she deserves it, but also because she needs to learn from this in order for her to welcome happiness and joy in the best company. Someone that will be very fun to be around, like the sun energy. So try to make it clear, try to work on yourself, try to work on your subconscious mind, your thoughts and beliefs, because this is what is going to manifest in your outer reality. Remember, your outer reality is a reflection of your beliefs and your subconscious mind. This is why it's super important for you to start working on this. And I think this Ten of Branches is kind of telling you this. You need to work and say no to achieve freedom for your own freedom in order for you to attract the, the most amazing people your way, but also the most amazing experiences in your life. The Maiden of Branches. This one symbolizes a focused girl, passionate and free-spirited, creative and a need for adventure. I think you are going to be leaded somewhere and this is for your spiritual growth or maybe you want to travel or to discover new people in order for you to grow spiritually because I'm saying that you are holding this bouquet so it's like you are holding your destiny and your growth because this is nature so nature is growing all around you and you can see that on these two cards you are supported by your guides with the, the stars being all around you so it's like the universe and your guides really support your growth and they really want you to grow spiritually and this may actually ask you to go for adventures, be creative, be free-spirited like the sun energy. You know, really um, go and, and explore around you and have fun because this is all um, that is really important for your self-growth. You need to be around people that are joyful, that are fun to be around, that are kind of inspiring you and making you feel good in your own skin and supporting your growth as well because you need someone that is going to be 
accompanying you on this journey. So if you are with someone um, that is isn't interested about spirituality and if this is something important for you, this is going to create a block because you need to be around people that are very accepting and very supportive as well. So if you do not have this person, um, you know, as a relationship, as a romance, well, this is going to be difficult for you, I can guarantee it. But, you know, if you cannot find any support spiritually with this person, you can always make friends that are going to be on the spiritual journey. And if you want to connect with more spiritual person, you can always also comment down below and try to create a group with these people because I believe you all are on this spiritual journey and wanting to learn and, and wanting to share as well your experiences as a spirit. So it would be interesting for you guys to connect and actually share with each other. And you can even make friends and have fun with them and I don't know, I mean just explore. You also have um, forums I believe about spirituality. Um, also on Instagram, I believe you have pages. So try to connect with people if you feel like you need more company that are that are very open spiritually and that are wanting to grow and wanting to share their experiences as well. Um, because I believe this card is pretty much here to tell you you need to be more free-spirited and more passionate and lead yourself towards growth spiritually because this is what is going to offer you to discover who you truly are and this is going to create more amazing connections that are going to support your growth on this spiritual journey. The Six of Arrows. This one symbolizes a necessary transition, moving to another location, travel and new horizons. I was saying this, I think you will need to travel to kind of get a new perspective. You know, when you travel, this always um, inspire you in a way to grow or to see things from a different perspective. And even the people around you, like a new culture, it can inspire you to grow spiritually or to come with new amazing projects that are going to be a lot more human, uh, human based or um, here to take care of people or to make people grow. So if you feel the need to travel to learn about yourself or to rediscover yourself because the thing is when you stay in your cocoon, when you do not travel, you are kind of surrounded by the same routine and you kind of forget about yourself and you're not really taking care of yourself or discovering your true self or taking your time to do so. At least I think most of us are kind of um, you know, hypnotized by this routine and not really discovering who we truly are. But when we are traveling, it's kind of like we are letting go enough to, to kind of rediscover who we are. And it's inspiring us to um, really understand our true nature, our true self, our true calling, because I have the most amazing ideas when I travel, and I don't know about you, but I believe this is the same for people. I think traveling really gives you this inspiration, this new perspective of life that is going to inspire you to do and start something new. So if you feel the urge to travel, because I think this is a necessary transition, it doesn't have to be too far, but just take some time for yourself in order for you to rediscover yourself and transition into something that is going to be about freedom and growth, and also being joyful and opening up to your spiritual self. The Ten of Pentacles. This one symbolizes family, security, prosperity and inheritance. I think this talks more about family or your company. You know, it's time for you to choose wisely who you want to be around because this is what is going to inspire your, your growth and inspire yourself to, you know, go on adventures and, and be excited about this life. Because I believe you are wanting to, you know, explore something new and you can see the dragon here supporting you. And this, a dragon for me, is a spiritual teacher in a way. Someone that will accompany you spiritually and guide you. So it can be your spirit guides or an angel represented out there and this is something that is also going to bring you a lot of mysterious discoveries and you know because this is a very mystical uh, creator and you can see a lot of stars around you and this to me symbolizes your guys kind of showing you the way and and you can see the sun energy uh, as well and it's kind of protected maybe some of you are going to unite with your counterpart and this can be your divine masculine entering your life and bringing you this clarity maybe you are going to meet someone that is going to awaken um with you or that is going to inspire you to awaken it can be as well um so if you haven't awakened already and if you haven't really discovered who you truly are spiritually this is telling me you are going to meet someone that may inspire you to grow spiritually and 
if this person that is coming isn't spiritual, it isn't the one I'm talking about. So if you really want to welcome someone that will inspire your growth and support you and be kind to you and love you, well, you only need to welcome someone that will be, you know, like the sun energy, very joyful, very warm, um, very very happy all the time and inspired about things and excited to travel as well because it can be that you meet this person on this travel and this is why it's maybe um a transition that is needed for you a travel that is calling you because your soul is wanting to unite maybe with a soulmate or twin and this is in order for you to to oh my goodness i'm seeing light workers here Maybe you want to be a light worker. Maybe you want to inspire others to awaken or to inspire others with your light. So it can be creatively because we were talking about creative inspirations. Um, so you can be an artist or this, this person can be an artist and it can be very, very well known on the industry. So maybe on TV, on social medias, um, it can be a singer, a rapper, um, someone that performs because I'm seeing this light kind of um, being diffused to the world. So it's like this person, this person is inspiring others with his light. And this can be you as well, all the both of you. So I'm saying that the two of you may want to be light workers and you may be destined to unite with your twin because twins are generally here for a divine reason. They are here to inspire people to awaken. And this can be why you are going to be lit somewhere or inspired to go somewhere in order for you to meet with your twin or soulmate and in order for you to share this light to the world and inspire others to awaken as well. Beautiful. The Empress. This one is about sensation, nurture, creation and beauty. The Empress is for me, you know, a very mother figure. She is just here to empower others and, and bring light and, and growth to people. This is also a beautiful mother. So you may have this very caring energy about children or you may want to be around children most of the time or you have a very beautiful connection with with young spirits, let's say, or with old people. I think you are um, able to connect with a lot of different generations. You know, you can connect with people on a very deep level and you can understand them and this is why you are sharing this light. You can see her holding this basket and sharing all the light and, and all these butterflies are creating a beautiful light, a bubble of light, kind of protection. And for me, the butterflies also represent change coming, transition and rebirth. So it's like you are going to um, feel alive again, rebirth from from anything you was conditioned to or, um, you know, because when you are born, you learn to be a human, but it's like you are uh, kind of condensing your spiritual self, or at least most of us, it's the case. Well, now you are kind of rediscovering who you truly are and you shine as this person. And now you are ready to share this light to the world and, and change is about to come and the change is about to happen a lot more around you as well. Not just within you, but I'm saying that you project this light outer in this, this world. And as I said, this sun card was sharing this magic, sharing the light to people in order for them to awaken. And I think this is what is happening here as well. You are wanting to share your light. So I believe for this group, you guys are, li are light workers or wanting to be light workers. And this is why you are working on yourself, you know, discovering it yourself and working on your spiritual self as well, your spirit. You really want to discover more and share with people in order for you to share your inner light, share your knowledge as well um, and share your growth with people because I'm seeing so much roses, so much, so much nature. So this is about growth. This is about freedom. This is freeing all, all your knowledge, all your um, lessons as a spirit, as a soul in order for people to kind of um, get this energy and you can see there is a ball of energy with the sun there is a, a ball of energy with the sun kind of being protected as well so it's like your masculine is about to enter if you are if you are the empress um and this is you kind of manifesting the solar energy or the ball of energy that is going to inspire people around you to awaken the hanged man this one talks about isolation, sacrifice, trials, perseverance, and contemplation. For me, the hanged man is more 
telling you to see life from a different perspective in order for you to access more clarity, in order for you to manifest this inner light. Because I'm saying you kind of needed to see from a different perspective. And I was saying that when you will travel, you will get this inspiration to see life from a different perspective. You know, see uh, things from a different perspective that will give you this, this inspiration for you to awaken and to share your magic. So I think it's time for you to see things from a different perspective and discover more about yourself. Because I'm seeing that you have a lot of fairies all around you. And this for me symbolizes that you're God really want you to awaken. They want you to discover who you truly are. So if you haven't awakened already, this is kind of telling you it's time for you to incarnate the Eurofint. In order for you to be in this place of, of discovering yourself, of um, you know seeking for the inner light and manifesting this one because you have this on your hand, you know, manifesting this ball of magic, this clarity. Um, and I believe you are meant to be a light worker in this lifetime because you could see it. There is so much ball of energy on all these cards and this is all about growth and freedom here. So it's like this is going to allow you to free yourself and allow you to free your spirit in order for you to grow because you can see that you are, you know, kind of protected by, by your fairies but also you are growing with the trees. You can also see the cross of life and this for me symbolizes that it's kind of like you are discovering that you are immortal. You know, this this is just another lifetime. This is just another experience and you are recognizing it. And now it's time for you to experience this one to the fullest and have fun because this is all about, you know, discovering who you truly are and even improving your talents here on this lifetime in order for you to... Um, be and incarnate the best version of yourself in the spiritual world because you may know that you are just here for a little time just to experience few lifetimes in order for you to not come back as a spirit and stay in the spiritual world and and shine as who you truly are because you will be your true self your true essence because when we incarnate in this envelope that is the human body it's kind of um taking away our memories taking away who we truly are and this lifetime is kind of a trial for you uh, to see if you are going to understand your spiritual self, if you are going to remember um, your past life rem memories and lead yourself to this awakening because I believe the closest you are to awaken, the more you are advanced as, as a spirit the more you are going to not come back in this lifetime because you will have done your your journey as a living being because of course you don't have to be a human to experience lessons as a spirit. Um, so of course you could be a tree in another lifetime, you could be uh, an animal, you could be from another planet, so I don't know what you were. Um, but yeah, I think this is really important for you to recognize this and the Eggman is just going to offer you this new perspective, this new inspiration to see yourself as your truth, who you truly are as a spirit. And this is going to give you this inspiration to seek for the light within and to share this light with the world and inspire others to awaken with you and to discover more. So of course, I think when you awaken, you are so excited that you want everyone to know the truth, but be aware we are not all ready to awaken. And it's best for, for you to kind of share with people that are on the spiritual journey already than just force the information with someone that isn't ready to awaken in this lifetime. And some people are not ready to awaken in this lifetime and this is what you have to understand. So try to not force people to awaken with you and to join this funny party because no, not everyone is supposed to awaken. Not everyone is at the same state of evolution. So be aware of this. Even if you are excited, not everyone is going to understand your journey. And this is why you have to be prepared because this can be a very lonely journey for you. Um, yeah, I think this is pretty much all I can say about this card. The Three of Wands. This one symbolizes progress, look to the future, success and self-belief. Of course, <laughs> I think when you understand your spiritual power, you will understand that you can be successful. You can actually mold your reality because you are the master, the designer of your reality. And this is what is going to offer you to experience this life to another lens, 
through an avalanche and and also rediscover your own power because the mind is so powerful that you are going to tap into the magic and manifest this magic all around you because as i said before your outer reality is a reflection of your inner reality and when you know this you know that you have power over it and you can mold it to your advantage in order for you to have the best and the most amazing experience in this lifetime so yeah i think this is kind of pushing you in a way to discover who you are and look to the future with bright eyes because you are now being offered a new perspective and this is in order for you to grow and to lead yourself to a new journey and you can see that this person is just looking at a new um a new horizon let's say and you can see the boats the ships traveling to an another sea and it's kind of directing yourself towards a new direction you know a necessary transition and travel because i believe a lot of you are going to need to travel and this is also to rediscover yourself but this can also this can also happen because you need to discover your masculine your divine masculine or if you are a man this can be discover your empress because you two are destined to be with each other and it doesn't have to be you traveling to another a country but maybe you will be inspired to travel to another city or something like this because i believe your inner calling is going to be very true to what you need in your life this is going to give you this inspiration and you don't really know where it's coming from but i think this is for a reason because this this inner calling it's to lead you somewhere in this journey to awaken or to unite with someone that is going to give you this inspiration to awaken spiritually or to grow even more spiritually if you are already on this journey. There we go. The King of Pentacles. This one talks about success, stable, in control and powerful hardworking. This is a king that is just here to manifest a lot of magic and abundance in his life. So if you are wanting to incarnate this king and manifest a lot of abundance and you know, a lot, of, a lot of money and a lot of amazing experiences, this is going to turn into a success or you will be able to manifest any success you want because you will understand how to work with the law of attraction, how to actually create something out, um, out of your inner calling, out of your spirit, instead of starting something because of the ego. Because trust me, this life can be experienced to the fullest and you will be experiencing a lot of success and a lot of abundance. And this is when you will make the choice to do it, you know, and this is when you will recognize your potential to manifest the magic inside you. And this can also be the king that is about to enter your life. So the masculine, the divine masculine who we're sensing on this card with the sun card. So this is kind of like telling you, you are going to manifest the king and you will incarnate this energy Empress. So it's time for you to work with the law of attraction, it's time for you to manifest your divine counterpart because it's time for you to be uh, with your twin or soulmate and I believe a lot of you are on this twin flame journey because this twin flame journey is all about it, it's all about being light workers, it's all about uniting with someone and sharing your light to the world and inspiring others to awaken. So yeah, I believe if you are on the spiritual journey and wanting to share as a light worker with a partner, this is a person you will attract or maybe you are with this person already. And if you are not with your king that is, you know, spiritually inclined and wanting to grow spiritually, it can be that someone will come and it doesn't have to be a romance, but a friend might come and be very powerful and inspiring you to grow. So you will feel understood on the spiritual journey. And yourself will feel complete in a way because you will be inspired um, to, to grow with this person because this is all about growth and freedom and transitioning with people. So I think you are going to make a lot of friends that are more spiritually inclined or you can actually attract your counterpart that is going to um, bring you this growth and inspiration in your spiritual journey to shine and to share this magic to the world and to the people around you. All right. Now to end this reading, I'm going to share three oracle cards. So the first one is, I choose to learn through love. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, I think you are going to unite with your king and unite with your counterpart in order for you to kind of learn from this lover, learn from this person and awaken with this one because this is something very pure and you could see there is a lot of light and bubbles and and energy on these cards it's like you are ready to share this light with the with the world with the people around you and i think this will be inspired 
through love because you will learn with loving people and it doesn't have to be just romance but I'm saying that a lot of you are going to unite with your counterpart with your king in order for you to learn with with your lover and the other one I always trust the direction of the universe and know I am being guided I see this card all the time I swear yes I think a lot of you are being guided on this on this journey and the universe is supporting your growth and even your guides they really want you to experience life to the fullest so pay attention to synchronicities and symbols because you may receive a lot of inspiration from the universe and your guides because yes you are being guided and the last one instead of praying for an outcome i pray for the highest good for all this this is pure really pure and this just means yes you are a light worker because you are not manifesting out of the ego but for the spiritual calling for your spirit for your own inner light and you know that it's not out of the ego that you manifest but for the highest good of all so not just about you and what you want to manifest and this is very pure and beautiful all right i was so happy to do a reading that is very spiritually inclined and here and here to support you on this spiritual journey I'm so happy about this and I'm so excited for you. All right, let's move on to the second group. And the second group. For this reading, you will have two cards for the overall energy. The first one is the Four of Vessels and the Queen of Pentacles. This one talks about meditation and reevaluating priorities. Nurture talents. Ooh. -hoo. Okay, I can already tell that some of you are condensing your skills or hiding your potential. Maybe you want to be an artist, but people around you are telling you, no, you can't do it, or, you know, it's not right, or you're not talented enough, and blah, blah, blah. This is just to stop you or to challenge you because the universe is also using people to kind of test you if you are, um, you know, animated enough with your skills, with your passion. And if you pass it, of course, you are going to experience a lot of wonders in this lifetime. So I think you are being tested in a way by the universe and by the people around you to see if you are, you have the guts, you have this inner light, this inner calling inside that is stronger enough to um, you know, push you in this direction no matter what people say, no matter what people do. So it's like telling you it's time for you to seek for your inner inner calling. Meditate, evaluate what is are the priorities and it doesn't have to be artistic, but I'm saying that some of you are wanting to be artists and you know, a lot of the time people do not believe you can be because this is just for the most talented ones or blah blah blah. And this is why I need to take to take this example in order for you to understand. But of course this can be something else and this is something that is very important for you. And I think you are being tested right now, so it's time for you to move on and to tell the world this is what I'm gonna do. No matter what you say, no matter what you try to do to me and condense me, I'm going to do it and nobody's going to stop me. Because if you have this attitude, you are sending a clear message to the universe to support you on this journey. But if you are doubtful, you are going to send very contradictory um, energies and messages to the universe, so it won't really respond to your prayers. Um, you need to be clear with what you want. You need to be uh, setting your mind and, and setting your goals um, and be fully responsible of them. You know, take actions to make them happen, but also see them with clear eyes and understand that your goals can be manifested if you truly believe in them, if you truly direct yourself on this path. And I think this is what this queen incarnate, her kind of uh, revealing herself, but yeah, I'm saying that you may meditate, you may need to reevaluate what is important for you because maybe you are stuck in a job that isn't a fit for you and it's time for you to change. It's time for you to start something new and follow your inner calling because this is what is going to be worth it and this is what you are supposed to follow and tell the universe, I'm going to take this challenge because this is what I'm supposed to do in this lifetime. And this will be this kind of attitude that will empower yourself and manifest and manifest a lot of magic around you because you are going to be clear with what you desire in life and not being doubtful or fearful because if you are this is going to send very negative messages and of course you won't attract what you desire so this is why it's very important for you to understand and believe that 
if you trust yourself, if you believe you can succeed, if you know this is the right path, you are going to access this success and manifest this one and receive a lot of abundance because you will be supported and it's like you will understand this lesson of the universe telling you, are you sure you really want to do it? Are you sure you have this inner calling inside you that is strong enough for you to be um, starting this journey? Is it pushing you enough to start what you want to do? Is this desire inside you strong enough? And if it is, you are going to do your everything to start something that aligns with your dreams. The Queen of Pentacles will present Mother Earth, Amelie, nurturing and dependable. It's like nurturing your talents, you know, show it to the world, shine, because I'm seeing this queen kind of going out of the tree. It's like this envelope and this... It's like this envelope is breaking and it's time for her to free herself from this. It's time for her to, um, you know, show a true self to the people and shine. And this can be showing you true potential, showing what you are capable of doing, showing you true self to people and inspiring others as well. Because you incarnate so much energy on this card and you are sharing this bowl of energy. It's like, it's like you are giving something to people or to the universe, telling, telling clearly, I am on this path and I'm going to reveal myself, I'm going to show my true self and incarnate this beautiful queen because I am capable of doing whatever I desire and this is my spiritual calling, this is my inner calling and it's time for me to follow my dreams. If you have this attitude and if you incarnate the queen, you are going to be abundant, this is for sure and the pentacles is all about it. It's all about receiving abundance and being guided by the universe and receiving so much more, you know, happiness, joy, um, manifesting even your, your counterpart because you will vibrate on a very high level of frequencies of energy that you will attract the same type of energy your way. So if you believe in yourself, if you follow your dreams, you will vibrate on a very high level of energy. And this is what is going to inspire your journey and inspire yourself to grow as well because I'm seeing you kind of revealing yourself. It's time for you to show your true self, your true talent, in order for you to access and manifest this light and manifest this dream in your life. The Empress. <laughs> okay. We had this Empress as well on the other deck, but interesting, interesting. This one talks about fertility, birth, parenting, nurture your talents. What was I talking about? It's time! I mean, this was talking about nurturing and this is just confirming. You need to nurture your talents. Go for it. Go for the dream. Manifest the dream. Manifest what you desire because you have the potential to manifest whatever you desire in this lifetime. And it's time for you to follow the dreams because as you can see, you are supported by the universe with the stars being here and your guides also are pushing you to follow your dreams. I believe you are surrounded by synchronicities and you may see um, you know, symbols of what you want to manifest, what you want to do, what you want to incarnate. You know, I think the dream is so big in front of your eyes, but it's so difficult for you to see it clearly because you are around people that are kind of making you out of your element. They make you feel like you are you are this fish out of the water. It's like you are too avant-garde for us. I don't understand what you want to manifest and you are not going to be capable of shining. But this is just because they are not understanding that you are out of the box for a reason. You are talented and gifted enough in order for you to use this, these ones in this lifetime and in order for you to shine like the queen and the empress. You are so powerful, you don't even understand. And I think people make you feel little because they are not seeing your beauty, your magic. And it's time for you to show it to the world and shine because, I mean, they are waiting for you. People are waiting for you and this talent, these skills were given to you in order for you to use them fully and not to doubt them and not to be fearful of showing you true potential. It's time for you to open up and reveal yourself. The Judgment Card. This one talks about tradition, religious guidance, rebirth, inner calling and judgment. Yeah, I think for you it's, more, it's mostly about you know, feeling alive again. It's like you are rebirthing on this card and now this is talking about this. It's time for you to listen to your inner calling and understand that what you can manifest 
it's here because this was meant to happen. This is for me your life path. This is for me um, something that is calling you because you was meant to experience this in this lifetime. So I think this card is pretty much showing you you know, maybe two directions. Maybe you can see these as offers you will receive. You know, take the one that is more um, appealing to you and not because of your ego or because of people telling you you should do this or because this is more reasonable to follow one path and, and not follow your dreams instead. You know, this is going to be in your hands and you are going to be the only judge of this decision. So is it worth it to just work because of money? Is it worth it to start something that doesn't align with your dreams, that doesn't make you feel passionate, that doesn't make you feel happy to wake up every day? Is it okay? Is it worth it to just work for money? This is the question you have to ask yourself. So I think this is just going to push you in a direction where it's going to be challenging. It's going to, you know, see if you are being passionate enough to start this journey and to follow your dreams. Because this is just telling you it's time for you to make the decision in order for you to manifest this change in your life. And this is wonderful because I believe this is going to support you to make what is right for you, to Follow what is right, what is calling you. And I think this is here for a long time because I'm seeing this life, you know, shining upon you. You are manifesting this magic and you are revealing yourself. So it's like it's time for you to manifest this one. It's time for you to incarnate the dream and it's time for you to follow the right path and make the right decision for your life. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, exciting. This is about good fortune, lurk, karma, turning point and gambling. This is all about luck, okay. If you have a dream, if you wanted to start this one, if you have a project in mind and, and you feel doubtful or something, if this is stopping you in a way because you are overthinking about uh, the outcome or something like this, it's time for you to understand clearly this inner calling, this dream that you may have, if you follow this one, this is about to happen. You are going to attract fortune, you are going to be a money magnet, you are going to attract a lot of abundance, a lot of joy and happiness, and you are going to feel in your element. You are going to be recognized for your creativity, for you being out of the box for a reason because you are here to shine. You know, so this is just going to empower you. This journey is beautiful. And if you take this right decision, this new direction that is going to lead you to this fortune, this is going to offer you exactly what you dreamt of. So it's time for you to manifest the magic. It's time for you to open up and lead yourself towards this journey that is about, you know, showing your true self, showing you your true potential, because you are meant to start it. You are meant to do it in this lifetime. And I think if you take this direction, you are going to be supported by your guides. And you could, you could see it with the stars on these two cards, on, on these three cards, actually. They are supporting this journey, this abundance. It's like a divine calling for a reason. I think you are supposed to use your skills to also empower people and to make people feel happy and to bring them some type of of well-being because I think what you are going to do and if you are an artist you are going to inspire people or make people feel good and I think it doesn't have to be artist but it can be something that you want to start that is going to be meaningful for you and meaningful for a lot of people because I see that you are going to share this this inner light this dream with people and this is not going to be out of the ego this is something um, you want to manifest for everyone around you or the people that are going to recognize themselves inside you or on your journey um, to actually awaken with you, to open up with you and to shine with you because this is what is going to offer you this change and this fortune in your life. The Ace of Swords. There we go. We are starting a new beginning. The Ace of Swords is about mental clarity, focus, new beginnings and truth. Of course, this talks about the truth because this is an inner calling. This is your dream. It's time for you to reach mental clarity. It's time for you to understand clearly in your mind what you want to manifest, what you want to do. Because this change needs to happen. This is a new beginning. This is not something you are doing right now. Or maybe you just started a new beginning and you are leading yourself towards this goal or dream. Okay, but I believe a lot of you, this is about to transition. This is about to happen because you are starting to understand 
and awaken to the truth, awaken to your inner calling. And this is in order for you to manifest a dream and to receive so much abundance and fortune in your life. And this is what is going to lead you to this new beginning. We can also see a lot of um, swans opening uh, around this sword shining. It's like people are going to support your journey. They are going to see the potential. They are going to see who you truly are and what you can offer to people because they will recognize the worth of your project, of your dreams. And this is here in order for you to be supported on this journey. So if you are feeling alone right now, this is just temporary. This is just going to um, yeah, be something uh, that is going to last a little time and then you will attract people that are going to recognize your worth. But I believe your friends or people that are close to you are already seeing your potential and you may be supported by people or friends and this is what is going to allow you to trust yourself even more and to start a new beginning because you can see there are a lot of butterflies around you and they announce change, they announce transition, transformation, and rebirth. So it's like you are going to feel alive. And I, I could see this energy. It's like you are removing your envelope that is now a tree and kind of, you know, feeling alive again, feeling like it's, it's your calling. It's time for me to, you know, free myself from this envelope and share with the world and share this light, share this this creativity, um, share your projects, share your ideas, share your um, art with people because it's time for you to start this new beginning and these swans can actually come after. So maybe you will be supported when people will be inspired about you. And it's like you have your group of people supporting you and, and wanting to learn from you even. But I'm saying that you may be supported and this new beginning is not going to be lonely as you may think you are going to attract the right people in your way. This is for sure. Because this new beginning I'm seeing is very pure and, and very supported. Justice. This one represents balance, equality, truth, fairness and justice. I think, yeah, this is pretty pure because this is going to offer you justice. You following the right path, you following this inner calling is going to offer you justice. So if you make the right decision, this is going to manifest into something that is beautiful. This is something you was dreaming of and this is going to happen in your life because it is time for you to experience the dream. It's time for you to manifest this one. And you can see that the justice card is represented by the angel. So it's like you are supported by your angels, your guides and the universe. They really want you to experience the best. You can see also that there are a lot of butterflies again. So it's like transformation, um, these were birth, and the change is about to come in your life. And this is going to offer you to fly away with your dreams and manifest this one. You can see a lot of motion here. So change is about to come, this is for sure. And this is only going to happen when you will open your wings and fly. You know, when you will trust yourself enough to start this new beginning. Because something is waiting for you and this is going to be exactly what you wanted, exactly what you pictured. So it's time for you to manifest this one, it's time for you to grow with this idea that you have, you know, grow with the dreams and also welcome what is about to come. Start this new beginning without fear because you have the potential to start whatever you desire. You are going to shine and you are someone that is very talented and creative. So whatever you want to start is going to turn into a success. The Seven of Pentacles. This one talks about contemplation, cultivation, reward and hard work. I think you will harvest what you are going to create. It's going to ask you to work hard, to uh, challenge you in a way. But this is going to be rewarding because you can see her harvesting um, these fruits with a lot of light and they are represented with a star on it. So it's like your guides are being represented on these. It's like you are going to manifest the magic or you are going to shine like a star and you are manifesting and harvesting your rewards. So this is going to be a wonderful journey for you and I can tell if you follow the dream this is what is going to happen and you are going to be very successful and you are going to receive and harvest a lot of abundance. So of course joy, happiness, money, love, support from others. This is beautiful and pure. I mean this card is just about rewards. So this is going to reward you if you take the right path, if you make the right decision. So are you wanting to stay static in a work? Are you wanting to stay because of money? Because people tell you 
you should stay here because it's secure. I don't think you are going to need something that is secure in your life. I believe you need to challenge yourself and to follow the dream in order for you to harvest and be rewarded in life because it's time for you to manifest this fortune. It's time for you to change this direction and start a new beginning because something grand is waiting for you. The star. <laughs> I was just saying this, you will shine like a star and then bang, the star card. This one talks about hope, dreams, coming true, inspiration and renewal. If this isn't a clear message, I don't understand. <laughs> but this is just telling you, you need to follow your dreams. You need to nurture your dreams and give back to the reader. It's like you are abundant enough to give back. And this is beautiful and this is what is and this is what is going to manifest in your life. It's like you are um, receiving enough, being rewarded enough that you are able to give back to people. And I think this is why I believe you will be an inspiration for others. Because you have enough and you know you have enough and you give back because this is your true nature. You know, this is your true self. And I think you will give back because you understand um, how difficult it is to start and lift the dream. And when you are going to lift this one, this is why you will feel the need to give back, to uh, support each other um so it can be you know give back with your music art it can be um giving back with your time um being around people that are needed help or something like this but i'm saying that you may support others and give back and this is why you can be abundant as well i mean you are nourished by the water and it's kind of clearing away also something that is not working and all the negative so if you are experiencing challenges and, and negativity this water is also going to clear this energy in order for you to find clarity because you incarnate this big star and you are supported by your guides so i think this whatever is about to come this is about to transform your life and you cannot even imagine how much because this is all about abundance this is all about manifesting the dream because this is all about you know manifesting your dreams and living it it's time for you to manifest it it's time for you to believe in yourself and make the right decision so if you are not at the right place and if you are not feeling abundant enough to give to others, well, I think this is time for you to change your direction. It's time for you to start this new beginning because, I mean, this is what you can get. So are you wanting to stay in the static place because it's secure in a way or people think it is what you are supposed to do? I don't believe so. I think you are here for a reason and your talents are here for a reason as well. So it's time for you to understand why you was gifted these talents. Now it's time for you to trust yourself to use them and to benefit from them and also for the world to benefit from, from what you are going to share, for sure. The Nine of Wands. This one talks about force of will, weariness, resilience and readiness. Yes, a lot of you are ready. A lot of you are wanting to start this new beginning. I'm seeing this girl kind of, you know, fighting for the dream, fighting for it to manifest in her life. And this is wonderful. You can see a lot of growth on the ones here, kind of creating a protection. So I believe your journey is going to be protected. And I think this is protected by your guides. And it's time for you to recognize this because I think you are seeing this everywhere. You are seeing, um, you know, lights around you. You are seeing some fairies as well. You are seeing the light, the moon, um, the, the stars. So the universe is supporting your journey. And this is why you can see a lot of clarity behind you shining upon on you showing you the direction i think as i said before you are going to receive a lot of synchronicities and symbols it's like the universe is wanting you to understand this calling and this is in order for you to start this new beginning and to fight for this one you know challenge yourself to start something new because this is going to reward you this is for sure so it's time for you to manifest and follow your inner calling your dreams something that inspire you something that is worth it you know something that you value so much but even fear in a way but it's time for you to manifest this one and live this one and fight to um you know make it grow because i'm seeing so much growth on this card and so much light so of course this is going to turn into a success and you will know how to turn it into a success all right so to end this reading i'm going to share three oracle cards so the first one is 
I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural. This is beautiful. Yes, you can create this miracle. Just trust yourself. Okay, so the second one. The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. <laughs> of course. As I said, you are receiving some synchronicities in order for you to understand which direction you should take because this is going to be very clear to you. And because this is aligned with love, this is going to give you this um, clear direction. This is going to be clear to you because this is something that is about love and you could see it. You know, you incarnate this love, so you are going to manifest miracles. And now, because you are following this path of love, this is going to give you um, a clear direction. So this is wonderful. All right, now the last card. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender, the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. Wonderful. All right, this was a really, really beautiful reading and this is just pushing you to follow your dreams and to listen to your inner calling and to reveal yourself to the world and shine with, with this new beginning. And fortune is all about to come to you. So please make the right decision because something grand is waiting for you. Okay, let's move on to the third group. And now the third group. So I will have two cards for the overall energy. The first one is the Chariot and the second one the Nine of Cups. This one talks about control, willpower, victory, assertiveness and determination. Wonderful. I think you are going to maybe lead yourself towards something new uh, because I'm seeing you leading this ship on the sea and the sea is in motion so this is going to bring you change and I believe you are going to manifest a change that will resonate with what you want and it can be a new relationship, it can be a new job, a new offer, a new um, direction you want to take or maybe travel to a new place because I am saying that things are in motion and this is all about willpower and victory so you are going to lead yourself towards something that is going to be precious for you and that is going to offer you um, this victorious feeling at the end and abundance of course so it can be abundance of love, abundance of happiness, joy, it can be love as well, anything that is going to be very um, powerful and meaningful to you, something precious for sure. And because this talks about determination, I think you are really sure about where you are wanting to go, you know, the direction you are going to take. This is going to be crystal clear for you. This is like a calling to you. And this is why you are going to be determined to follow a new path, follow something that is going to um, reward you in the end, because this is something you are supported to do. You know, a direction or decision you need to make that is going to be supported. And I'm saying this because I'm seeing the stars all around you. So your guides and the universe are supporting you on this journey. The Nine of Cups symbolizes achievement, happiness, wish fulfillment and rewards. <laughs> this is so exciting. It's like you are ready to uh, manifest this magic and I'm saying that you are holding this cup or manifesting the magic and the energy onto this cup. So it's like um, your dream or your energy is able to manifest a lot of abundance in your life, a lot of amazing things and now you are just ready to harvest. I'm seeing this fish is kind of being inspired by you because they are kind of creating a spiral. So it's like they are wanting to be around you, to learn from you in order for you to um, give back to them. You know, I'm saying that you are ready to kind of give you energy or to manifest this energy outside of yourself and inspire people. So maybe you are studying a project or studying a relationship that is going to give so much to people. So I think you are going to direct yourself towards something that is going to be meaningful and that is going to reward you in the end. Or it can be that you are already on this path and now receiving or it's time for you to receive uh, abundance or reward in some sort because I am saying that you are very hardworking and you give so much to people and now it's time for you to receive back in a way. And I think the universe and your gods really want you to experience the best so you are going to be rewarded on this journey. On whatever you are going to direct yourself to, this is going to be rewarding for sure. The Two of Stones. 
This one symbolizes multitasking, considering multiple options and defining priorities. It can be that you are kind of not wanting to direct yourself towards something new or fearful to, to direct yourself towards something new because you're not sure about the direction you should take or you're not sure if it's going to be a successful journey. But because I was saying the Nine of Cups, this is going to reward you if you make the right move, the right change in your life. So maybe you are presented two options that are represented with these two cliffs here but i believe there is only one direction you can see here clearly there is one path opening and this is the path you need to take so i think you are going to take um a direction or a decision that is going to transform your life because this is going to be important and i think this is a challenge from the universe telling you are you capable of manifesting the dream, whatever you desire right now? Because if you do, you are going to be rewarded. But if you don't, you are going to be at the same stage of growth because I'm seeing the trees here and this represents growth. So it's like in order for you to grow as a person, as a spirit, it is time for you to follow the right direction. It is time for you to see clearly where your guides with the stars here are leading you. You know, it's time for you to understand what you desire to do and this is when you are going to lead your ship towards a new sea, towards something different because I'm seeing the motion here. And you can see that there is water here as well. So it's time for you to manifest this change. It's time for you to go with the flow and understand your priorities, what you want to manifest in life or the type of person you want to manifest in life or the type of person you want to engage yourself with because these two cliffs can also represent two people. So it's time for you to make a um, decision that is clear because you cannot stay in this place of not knowing what you want or just juggling between two people or two options. It's time for you to make a clear decision because this is what is going to reward you. But if you stay stuck and play with two people or playing uh, with two directions or not really know where to go, well, this is going to make you feel, you know, stuck on the road and you need to be in motion. You need to be in motion like the water and start something new and go with the flow because this is what is going to offer you success. And of course, success can be in a relationship or in you know starting a new job or starting a new, um, a new path or something like this. But I'm saying that you may start something and you may need to know your priorities and start to follow what is going to be a lot more important for you. The six of branches. This one symbolizes victory, recognition, good news, and becoming a leader. <laughs> this is wonderful. I can tell those that are going to direct themselves on the right path, you are going to feel like a leader. You are going to be victorious at the end because this is all about it. Yes, of course, it's kind of a challenge to, you know, direct yourself towards something new or towards a new direction, but this is going to be a victory for you. You are going to be recognized and this can be, you know, following the dream and manifesting the dream in order for you to be recognized, you know, in, in the society or from the people around you. I, I don't know, but I'm saying that you may actually need to get some recognition from someone and this can be in love as well. Maybe you are attracted about two person but you are only going to be recognized and loved by one of them. It can be. Or maybe you want to direct yourself only with someone that is going to, you know, recognize your beauty and, and see how precious you are. And this is what is going to make you feel um, good about yourself because you are going to feel like I am with someone that is going to support me and see me and understand me and someone I can trust fully because this is the one that could recognize my beauty. Um, here again you can see the, the water being in motion and you kind of being ready to harvest what the, the sea is going to offer you. And of course this won't be fishes here but this is kind of you know putting all these in order for you to manifest opportunities and this can be um, you know, attracting the right person, it can be attracting the right friends, um, it can be attracting the right person around you in order for you to have a good offer in a workplace, um, it can be about education, um, it can be you manifesting something you desire, you know, maybe go to a concert, um, anything like this, an event, really know where you want to go, really know what you want to manifest, and of course it can just be as little as 
going to a concert or starting something you desire, um, anything like this. Because I believe if you send a clear message, this is going to manifest and this is going to be victorious at the end. So you are going to receive exactly what you want. Try to understand that, try to be clear with your minds and with your wishes in order for you to manifest them and to get the reward from them. The Ten of Stones. This one symbolizes living a legacy, building assets, material success, family establishment. Of course, money is about to come for a lot of you. And if you are still young, do not worry. This is not really what you are going to harvest. You know, I even if you want money, this is going to be some kind of abundance coming to you. And this can be in, re in your relationship. It can be um, you going on a trip or going somewhere. This is going to be something golden to you, something that is meaningful for you that is going to happen. But this can be that uh, for a lot of you, you are going to experience money coming. Whatever you are going to start, because I believe this is kind of starting a new journey, because you are direct directing yourself towards this new path and um, kind of waiting for the rewards to come your way. And this was also talking about rewards. So it's like you are going to be rewarded with abundance. And of course, this doesn't have to be material, but I'm saying that this is money for a lot of you. Um, but this can be about love, uh, you feeling good, you experiencing a lot of amazing experience, you know, going on adventures, going on trips, um, going somewhere, it can be a concert, as I said, something like this that is going to be precious for you. So I think this is all about receiving. And we were talking about this. This is the reward you will receive and this is the money you will harvest thanks to the, re the direction you are going to take. Thanks to this new adventure you want to lead yourself to. Because I think you are going to make a decision that is going to allow you to start something new. To start a new journey, to follow uh, a new path that is going to lead you to what you want to manifest. And this is about to manifest, for sure. So whatever you desire, you know... Picture it in your mind so clearly, visualize it, feel it, and this is about to manifest. Try to be clear with what you want in order for you to manifest it even more quicker. This can also be you building very strong relationships with your family or with your friends. So it's like you will have golden friends, golden family, you know, a golden support. And maybe this is what is going to give you this inspiration to lead yourself towards a new path because you will feel supported. You will feel like this is something that is valued by others. So it's like giving you this push of energy, this boost to lead yourself towards something that is going to reward you. The Two of Swords. Not everyone is ready, I can tell. <laughs> this talks about compromise, putting off decisions, conflict, avoidance and stalemate. Yes, yeah, some of you are saying no, no to whatever is coming or maybe it's time for you to say no, no to something that is coming because this is not going to be exactly what you dreamt of. This is not going to align with what you wish because I'm saying that you are being offered a bouquet, um, a flower by the swan, but it's like you're turn turning your back at this person or I don't know, maybe it's an offer represented symbolically, but it's like you are not going to take it. You're not wanting to take it and maybe you are avoiding it as well. So maybe this is something that you should take or something you shouldn't take. You know, try to understand your priorities and make the right decision for you because only welcome what is going to allow you to grow, allow you to welcome the success and abundance in your life. And if it is something you avoid because you are fearful and not because you don't want, it's time for you to face whatever this person is giving you or whatever you are being offered because this is what is going to offer you the success. So only um, say no to the things that are not supporting your journey and your growth and the sense of victory because I believe you are the master of your destiny and it's time for you to understand this. It's time for you to welcome what is going to benefit your growth and benefit your journey in order for you to have the best experience in this lifetime. You can see the clarity of the moon shining upon you and you can see this hurt. It's like showing you the direction. Um, maybe you should listen to your hurt, listen to what is calling inside. And this can also make you... And this can also make you 
um, make the right decision because I believe a lot of you are going to be offered two decisions, two offers with the two of stones in this card. It's like only take the one that is going to align with what you desire. Only take the, the right partner that is going to treat you with respect, that is going to make you feel precious, that is going to make you feel loved, someone you can trust fully, not someone that was um, abusing you, maybe an ex is going to come back, I'm not sure, but not, but it's time for you to not welcome what is going to not benefit your journey here, it's time for you to only welcome growth, because this can turn into a really beautiful success, and there is only one way, understand which way you need to direct yourself in order for you to receive the best you know, it's time for you to understand this and say no, no to the things that are not going to make you grow, that are not going to support you and that maybe this person is only coming back because they can see you are shining now. Maybe they are saying that you are successful. Um, you, maybe you have a lot of money coming. Maybe you are um, being valued by others and they are recognizing, no, I love this person and I need to go back with this one because now I'm seeing her true potential. Listen to me. If this person was not recognizing your worth in the very beginning, no, don't take this person back because this person is just, is just coming for material things, from the things you can offer to them and not for love because someone that is coming for love is going to come for you and that is going to love you and not to get advantage of whatever you are manifesting. You know, it's not, this is not love, this is just out of the ego, you need someone that is going to make you feel secure, someone you can trust and you can see the fairies all around so I think you are going to be directed towards the right person by your guides and the universe so try to pay attention to synchronicities because they may lead you on the right path. There we go. The king of pentacles. <laughs> I can tell a lot of you are going to manifest someone that is going to be very successful and this is why it's going to be very important for you to take the right direction because this king is successful, this, this king is very grounded and ready to manifest a lot of abundance with you. So if you are rejecting um, maybe an offer that doesn't align with um, money or I don't know, something you, you dream of, this is going to offer you exactly what you want and I believe this is all about abundance. It doesn't have to be material, of course. It can be about something a lot more deeper than this and this is about to manifest because I'm seeing a lot of abundance with this king of pentacles. This one talks about success, stable, controlled, powerful and hardworking. Yes, this is someone who is very hardworking and I believe you are also. Maybe you incarnate the king's energy. But I'm saying that this person that may come your way is going to be very successful, very abundant, very stable, very grounded and very giving as well. Because he is kind of um, opening to the world, you know, removing this envelope of the tree that is condensing his energy he is now welcoming and manifesting so much magic and this is why he can create a lot of abundance and I think this is because he is in tune with what he desires, in tune with his atmosphere, his universe and within himself as well and this is why I see he is manifesting so much money, so much growth all around him and you can see the dragon here and the dragon is for me a companion that is very spiritual so maybe a spiritual guide or a spiritual teacher that is inspiring his growth and this can be that you meet this person mysteriously because the dragon is mysterious um, but I'm saying that you may actually attract someone that will be on the same vibe and very abundant as well because this is what you want to manifest and of course you are going to attract people that are going to inspire your journey in a way. So if you are going to attract someone that is very financially stable, very giving, very um, grounded, please do not say no to this person because the king that is about to manifest, the one that you are going to choose, I believe, is going to offer you exactly what you want. And if you feel lower than this person, please do not because this person is wanting to unite with you because of love and not because of something they can get from you. And this is why I was saying that someone may come to offer you love and some may come just because they want to get something out of you. So only welcome love, only welcome the king because this is the only relationship that is going to satisfy you, that is going to make you feel special and precious in a way. The Eight of Cups. This one talks about walking away, making changes, 
wind drawing and fatigue. Yeah, I think a lot of you are going to run away from, from something, something that doesn't work. Because it's now time for you to lead yourself towards a new path. You know, you're living out all these things that weren't working and you are leading yourself towards clarity with your cup. So it's like you are, um, you know, this is your, your cup kind of represents yourself. It's like you are feeling um, worth enough. You are feeling uh, strong enough to start whatever you want. And now you are living behind what was not working. And this is in order for you to start something that is going to manifest a lot of abundance. So it's time for you to move on and to walk away from things that were not working or are not working. And this can be relationship, this can be your friends, family, this can be a romance, this can be a job, this can be education. You know, even though people may think, why are you redirecting yourself? Why are you leaving these people behind? Well, this is for the best because you are now seeing clearly what you desire. It's like this light is going out of your mind. It's showing you the clear way that you need to follow now in order for you to manifest so much abundance in your life. And yes, it's time for you to do it. It's time for you to lead yourself somewhere else where you are going to harvest a lot more than just what you could manifest, you know, in the past with the past people or um, in your past jobs or anything like this. It's time for you to walk away because you are also going to send a message, a clear message to the universe. I am ready for more. I am ready for something new. And I believe I can attract a lot more when I will start something new and lead myself towards this path, towards this clarity and manifest so much magic in my world. The Eight of Wands. This one talks about speed, momentum, passion and enthusiasm. Yes, and the change is going to come at high speed because this card is just going to tell you this is about to come and when you will lead yourself towards something and walk away from the past and things that were not working, you are going to manifest things at high speed and this change is going to be wonderful. This is going to offer you exactly what you dreamt of, the right person next to you, abundance coming, money, and this is going to offer you a lot of reward. And it's time for you to follow something new. It's time for you to lead yourself towards a new sea, towards a new adventure, because this is going to offer you the power to manifest whatever you desire really, really quickly. And I just saw one, one, one and one, one on the microphone. So it's just telling you this is going to be divine and this is a divine calling, I believe. And this is why you need to start this new beginning and start to receive from the universe. Because I think he was condensing yourself before and, you know, being told what you, what you should do, but now you are recognizing this is not what I want to do. And now it's time for me to follow the right path and listen to my calling and have a clear picture, a clear mind of what I want to start. And this is about to manifest very quickly. You can also see the mountains here. So this for me symbolizes growth. You being grounded. You manifesting something that will last in time. You can see the water kind of clearing the energy. So it's clearing away what was not working in order for you to manifest something that is about to work. Something that is about to grow with you. This is beautiful. The Knight of Cups. Yes, a lot of you are going to experience romance and this person is going to enter your life. For sure. And this is exciting. All right, so the Knight of Cups symbolizes chivalry, the Knight of Love, romance and idealism. Yes, when you will say no to this person that may come back to you or may come to you and that you see this is not the one I desired, this is not the picture I had about the perfect partner, well say no because when you will say no, this will give a chance, an opportunity for this knight to come weekly in your life and offer you his cup and this is a night of love is going to offer you um this cup full of love this won't be a needy relationship this person is just ready to love you and to you know start a new adventure with you that is going to be aligned with something precious and i mean you could see this is a king and a knight, you know, full of love and abundant. This is someone who is stable. This is someone who is wanting to start a new adventure with you. And I see that you actually want to start something new as well because it's like you are directing yourself quickly towards something new. And because you are quickly making a decision to, to change, 
this change is going to manifest quickly and this person is going to come quickly in your life so this is so exciting and i believe you are going to be around this person very soon or this person is going to enter your life very soon because the change is already manifesting and i believe this will start to come quickly to you when you will make the decision i am going to change i'm going to take a new direction in love or of course this can be an offer coming to you a job offer coming to you but i'm saying that for a lot of you this might be love coming and this can be a soulmate as well this is pretty exciting so please move on walk away from the things that are not working because you send a clear message to your guides to the universe i am ready for more and this is about to come because when you have this clear idea in your mind this is what is going to manifest in your life so understand this visualize meditate and see what you want to manifest and this will come quickly your way all right to end this reading i'm going to end this one with three oracle cards so the first one is when i focus on my inner light i see the world through the lens of love this is beautiful the second one my energy creates my reality what i focus on is what i will manifest exactly this is why it's super important to always think positive and believe into a very positive outcome because this is what is going to manifest in your reality so remember your energy is what creates your reality and the last one the key to prayer is to forget what i think i need of need only pray because you you want so please pray out of the ego only welcome things because because of love because it's beautiful and because this surrounds you already and also pray for others all right i hope you will like this reading and this was pretty exciting because i'm saying that you may take a new path and go with someone or an offer or something you desire that is going to manifest in your life and that is going to be a lot more rewarding than you could even imagine okay this is pretty exciting i hope you will like this reading please put a thumbs up if you do and also let me know down below what you think if you are new, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I will see you very soon, Crystal Souls. Bye-bye.